I still have my natural lips, honey, yes. You know, when you're blessed and highly favored like me, you don't have to get the all-star lips. Look, natural, mm, succulent. Heidi and Fawcett. Soft and supple. <laughs> Ooh, jeez, let me tell you. When I look back at season 12, I definitely was a struggle bus. Let's not forget, I hate, hate, hate. Your hair and makeup today. The trauma! <laughs> but baby, what I learned was that I'm a funny hoe. You better stop. My name is Mrs. Kasha Davis, and I'm an alcoholic. Oops, wrong meeting. <laughs> oh, bitch, she looks good. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> My name is Mrs. Kasha Davis, international celebrity housewife. I'm best known for being the workhorse, being the sweet one. Yay! And the famous catchphrase, there's always time for a cocktail. But these days, I'm having a mocktail, as it were, because I'm coming up on seven years sober. Oh, I actually know where I am right now. How are you? Oh my gosh, how are you? You look fantastic. This is it. It's my time. All systems go. <gasps> it must be a crime to serve this much beauty. I wonder what she went to jail for. Hola. My name is Nisha Lopez. I was on season eight of Drag Race. Nisha Lopez. You're gorgeous. I am a pageant girl. I can sing, I can dance. I'm a former Miss Continental. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed, but at my season, I was so caught up trying to be like perfection that I just lost myself and I went home first. To be called back. How soon can you get here? Get you back and to be eliminated a second time in one season. That was like fun of them. Mm. Oh, I, I, know. Know. I just really want to prove to everyone and myself that I can win this. Ah! Your ringleader has arrived. Prepare to send in the clown. Oh, they're already here. She called us a clown. I'm Kahana Montreal from season 11. Your girl has a glow up. Kahana Montreal. Touch all this skin. She's Coco Montrese's daughter. She got a reputation to live up to. On season 11, I felt like being a Montrese, I'm gonna have all the girls gagged. Just don't know if she's ready yet. But I was so unprepared. I was just like a little baby drag queen. Hi! Hi! Oh my gosh. Since my season, a lot has changed. I had my eyebrows lifted, my nose done, my ass, my hip, my teeth done. Catch it. <laughs> and on top of that, I have put in the work. Yeah! <laughs> the Muse is back. I'm Candy Muse, your runner up from season 13. Did you miss me? So you think I'm sexy? Well, that's a you're sexy. <laughs> I ain't a nice girl, I'm a naughty girl. Is the bus still running? Bitch, she died. <laughs> I want candy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Candy News is super funny, super beautiful, super talented, but also I'm a little hood bitch in the Bronx. I'm big, I'm brown, I'm loud. No! <laughs> I came on 13 with this big personality that was not everyone's favorite. So I am one of the most polarizing characters in Drag Race history. If you don't have star quality, Baby. get the f out of here. I honestly thought you would have been in the bottom. Just my opinion. You captain trouble, honey. The wait is over. Baby, you better. That's a woman. I'm Darian Lake from season six of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's nice being back in this chair. It's about damn time. Dip into the waters. 
of Darien Lake. I'm sweating like two rats humping in a wool sock right now. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's a fierce lip syncer. And, she is. And so funny. At the gym, I'm like a ninja. You will never see me there. <laughs> On season six, I went up against the stiffest competition, and I ended up fourth. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Thank you, you so baby. Thank oh, you. my goodness. Darian Lake, baby, she is looking like a pond, honey. A pond is smaller than a lake, right? This baby, body. This, this body, body, body. Yes. Thank you. I borrowed it. <laughs> Drag is what I do. Monica's who I am, baby. I'm Monica Beverly Hills from season five of RuPaul's Drag Race. I want some of them cookies, girl. Monica Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. Woo, look at those legs. Yes. Can't you see I'm trying to get some sun? Back in season five, it was something I thought mentally I was prepared for. And then walking into the workroom and being surrounded by people that were so confident within themselves really had an effect on me. It's hard to be here. You're kind of disconnected. I've just been holding a secret in. I'm not just a drag queen. I'm a transgendered woman. I invited you here because you were fierce. The only person who does not believe is you. It was tough for me to break down like that. But now looking back, the way I've touched so many people, and most importantly, the way I've been a voice for trans women of color, I'm a role model, and I'm proud of it. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm ready to star in the big that still all stars. Yeah! Oh, Hi everyone, James Mansfield here. I was originally on RuPaul's Drag Race season nine. James Mansfield. I'm a Tahana living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I love whimsy. Yeah. I thought I was being served a comedy queen. Season nine was a crash course in drag for me. I feel that you're unsure of yourself. I went home first, but in my defense, they didn't say you had to be a fucking cheerleader on that application I filled it out. Oh my God! I've worked my ass off these past couple years. Holy sh! The way I've evolved from where I was in season nine, I don't even recognize that girl looking back. It's like, that's my Dorian Gray. Okay, she's aging terribly while I'm getting more and more gorgeous. I know my way around here. My name is Alexis Michelle from season nine. Broadway is back in the house and ready for action. I'm Alexis. And I'm a floozy. This was really good. This is someone to watch, I think. Mama jerk. Bitch, you turned it out. Your Kris Jenner was dope. I feel like my talent was definitely what got me to the top five on season nine. <laughs> also my tenacity. Swallow! Baby, I can sing, dance, act. I'm a professional through and through. And my star is only on the rise. I want that crown, I want that title, I want that legacy. Oh my god! <laughs> Always go for the gold. Work this. Here I am, Jessica Wilde from season two. That chicken is back. Coco Doro do! A scandal! Coco Doro do! Lipsy for your life! <laughs> I love that drink. Season two, I had to work very hard. I believe. Because I didn't speak good English. This is not my show. Action. Welcome to another fry hot meal. But I survived. Because in English or in Spanish, Jessica Wall is a superstar, baby. <laughs> After 13 mother talking years, I'm back. Oh! I didn't come to race, I came to cruise. Canada in the house, bitches. Hi, I'm Jimbo, and you may remember me from Canada's Drag Race Season 1 and UK versus the world. The breast of the west, the tits of the top. Big tits, that's me. <laughs> you missed your mother's smell, my goddamn fingers. <laughs> Jimbo is a drag clown and all about pushing boundaries and leaving people wondering, what the hell? <laughs> Silence! I'll get you, Rue! <laughs> and your little dog, too! <laughs> I'm talking about you, Michelle. <laughs> it's my third time around, and I can't wait to take these American hoes down. There is no dude a boot it. Back, back, deep, 
bitches. Yeah. 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 Ooh, the La La Re experience is back. You know me from season 13. They called the Miss Country Reality to come back, so I had to come back to attack, honey. Don't bring me La La Re. Yeah. Yeah. La La Re knows how to perform. Season 13 was a blessed experience. I became an award-winning designer. Absolutely no. So to speak. In recognition of the worst look of the season. That bag look really just made me even more famous. Something that was meant to be like my downfall was actually like my rise. So shout out to the gift bag. Yeah! Yeah! I am the only golden child here, girl. <laughs> This time around, we are going for the big book, honey. All the way to the top, give me that crown. I got this one in the bag. Trust me, gift bags, Prada bags, Louis Vuitton bags, grocery bags, yes! Ah! We're here at the All Stars 8. Promo, baby, I'm back. We are gearing up for All Stars 8. I'm in the dressing room right now. It was getting ready. We'll see how it goes. Promo day is crazy. There's so much stuff going on. You're doing pictures, you're doing videos. It's an early day. Everyone gets into their looks. It's wrangling cats, really. The crazy energy and huge egos. The girl is on a freaking hoop, just swinging around, honey, doing what I do, dipping and topping. Everyone looks absolutely stunning. We're reading each other, we're judging each other. Promo day has got me feeling like an all-star. <laughs> Honey, I'm feeling it. I would do Drag Race 50 more times just to do promo. I'm from season two. It was the beginning of this Drag Race phenomenon. I'm here like 13 years after. The competition is completely different. We are in another level of drag. I was a little scared, but it's time for me to show the world this new Jessica Wilde. I'm not the same girl from Season 11. I was shy, nervous, but this time, it's a brand new day. Whole new light. I'm anxious but ready. You know, it's like fine wine, honey. Even on season nine, I don't think I represented myself visually the way I feel I identified back then. So I was ready to come back and you know, we got some cute looks. All season 12, I had a checklist. Like, okay, I need a cake look. I need a Michelle Massage look. This time around, I actually like helped design a lot of my own looks. Fingers crossed for me there. The style and glamour has really gone through the stratosphere. The expectations are so much higher, especially having my moment of season six and getting so close to the crown. Drag has evolved and it's changed, and so have I. In season five, I was going through a lot. So to walk in the workroom, truly who I am, Monica is lovely and exciting to show the world. I feel super special to be back on Drag Race for a third time. When you win a competition, you wanna win against the best of the best, right? So why not do that at All Stars? I just wanna show people that I'm still alive, that I'm still doing it at the nifty age of 51. And you see, for all the people out there, do not stop dreaming. It could happen at any age. It's sort of like trying to put the sausage back in the casing, you know, getting all the pieces tucked in. A lot has changed since season nine. I'm a brand new person, and I cannot wait to show you all a little bit more of me, maybe a more intimate side. Since season 13, I have been up a whole lot, honey. And I'm excited for the fancy to see the Lottery Experience 2.0. It's always exciting being in the same room as Mama Roo. Brooklyn Heights is a great little stepmommy, but it's Mama's house now. You yeah, already know, I'm delusional. On season 13, I was focused a lot on the other girls and the friendships. This time around, I'm gonna prove to everyone that I am also talented. Since my original season, your girl has done a lot of major things. I performed with Miley Cyrus at the MTV Video Music Awards. I got to do the halftime show at a Chicago Bulls game. I threw the first pitch at a Sox game. And I got to work with the one and only Jennifer Lopez. I've been working with my favorite artists like Gloria Trevi. Drag Race helped me to be the person that I always dream to be. I'm working on eight years of sobriety and it has been a gift. It brought me to the moment. Now listen, I know that there's always time for a cocktail for many other people, but for me, it was time to take a look at that. And I am very proud to talk about it because maybe somebody watching could say, you know what? 
I can do that too and still be fabulous. It's about finding love, finding friendship, finding your true soulmates in this life. Since season nine, I've toured the world, done the clubs, done the pride festivals, but I've also gone back to my original love of acting with commercials and a network debut on CBS. I have not been a ghost here in the RuPaul's Drag Race franchise. I was just on 14 and in The Bitch That Stole Christmas. I was a star. I was also doing hair for the Brady Bunch special. I've been busy, okay? I have the opportunity to be a lip sync assassin on season six. I did season 14's finale, as you saw me give my Kajinya Alice crown to Ms. Cornbread and also my Golden Boot Award to Maddie Morphosis. Make a strip from Paul's Drag Race live, honey! I have been able to push myself in ways that, bro, I didn't think I was able to do. My first season does not define who I am as a drag entertainer, and I'm gonna prove that on this season. On my season, I did finish second. But see, here, we're not gonna allow that. We are going to do what we gotta do, make it to the end, and then win the crown. If I could give my season 11 self some advice, leave that yellow wig at home, bitch. It's gonna send you home, and you are gonna look crazy on TV. Season nine, you know I was your top five girl, and it is hard to get that close to the finale and not quite make it. So no matter what happens, I am gonna push to that finish line. Your girl's taking it all the way. I ain't nervous about nothing this time. Listen, okay, I was nervous last time. I ain't nervous at all. You know what? I am nervous about something. <laughs> the design challenge. Because, you know, I have the most iconic look in Drag Race history, but I'm also an award-winning designer because I was the first ever Golden Boot recipient. I wasn't always the fashion queen because as a little fat boy, you're not flipping through fashion magazines going, oh, that's me, that's me. And now kids can be like, that's going to be me one day. I can be that beautiful. So you get excited to represent who you are. I got to the top four and there's something that comes out of you during competition that you didn't really expect before. Learning how to stand up for yourself and say, you can do it too. And no matter how rough your life has been, you're gonna rise above it. Phoenix from the flames, don't ever give up. There's no strategy. Just live, laugh, and be dumb. Being Miss Congeniality from season 12, I'm known as the nice girl. Maybe it'll afford me chances to be more more cutthroat this time. People won't expect it from the nice one. I have nothing to prove. I'd say my track record says it all. Shadiest queen on All Stars 8. Hmm. They all said you. <laughs> Did they really? Nature is the shadiest down boots. Oh, mama. These <laughs> bitches. <laughs> oh my God. How shady these hoes. We're very open. We like you to know how we feel. We're not trying to hide it. And I respect that. So it's an award. It's a bunch of bitches, but we find our way to love each other. No, it is true. I am the shadiest. Whatever. Being with this cast is Incredible. I like everybody at least. I don't know if they all like me, but I like everybody. <laughs> Heidi and Closet, you know, she cried me Miss Virginia Addison, so that's my good sister right there. My season nine sister Alexis Michelle is here and I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled that I got to see my season nine sister James Mansfield in the workroom. She is a brilliant, hilarious queen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love Alexis. Alexis is one of the most talented people in the world. Miss Jessica Wilde, I absolutely love her energy. The best part is the sisterhood. I'm a huge fan of Jimbo and now we are good friends. And you know, she is one of the OG queens, so she may have a few tricks she can tell me. I have a beautiful connection with Candy. We are both Latina. She's from Dominican Republic. I'm from Puerto Rico. And I think we're going to be great friends after this season. I am so happy that me and Lala get to do All Stars together. Candy Muse is my homegirl from season 13, my sister for life. That was my bitch. Me, her, and Simone was a boy at a brigade. It just feels incredible to be back with her. I have been working all over with my gal pal, Darian Lake. So it is a miracle that we're here together. At the end of the day, it's all sisterhood of the traveling panties. I deserve to be in the Drag Race Hall of Fame 
because I'm always representing the art of drag with dignity and it's time to have a Latina. I believe there's a gap in the Drag Race Hall of Fame <laughs> and I'm here to fill it. I'm talented, charismatic, beautiful, humble, of course. Some of these girls got beauty. I have fire. Some of them got brains. I have the drive. Some don't got any. <laughs> they call me shady. I'm just getting it. The other girls better watch out because I deserve to be in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The legacy that our mother, RuPaul, has built for so many incredible drag artists is so special and I know that I can represent the RuPaul's Drag Race all stars like nobody else. Everyone should watch All Stars 8 because this season is stacked. The looks are insane. The challenges are incredible. All Stars is when they pull out all the stops. So get ready to see these girls put through the ringer. There are parts of this competition that are so jaw-dropping. Watch this debauchery, because it's going down. All Stars 8. Get ready for a good time, because it's going to be sickening. <laughs>